I I lean down the horror end, end of things. The what end? Horror. I said horror end. I was like horror. <laughs> And welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about BGs and BGTs. Exactly. I <laughs> I had to like process that before I was like, what? We are here today to do another versus video. The last one we did was on racing games, and today for spooky season, we are going to be I just drooled. on the table. No, almost though. So. We are going to be pitting against each other all of the spooky themed games that we have played. Spooky. I think they're all spooky. It's very subjective. It's very We've subjective. We've talked about this. We yes. don't know like what is defined as a spooky game. Prime example, Destinies. Right. Spooky, but not. Like the theme isn't spooky. Yeah. But it is spooky. But it is creepy. It's creepy to play it, exactly. So we put the ones that we think are spooky. Yeah. And how this works is we put all of those games into Pub Meeple. Yep. And we are going to, as a team, have to decide which one wins the matchup. This is not going to be easy. So this one is going to be much harder than the racing one. So two yep. games are going to pop up. Jeff and I need to have a discussion and come to an agreement on which game is best until we get our ranking. And then at the end, we'll let you know what that ranking mm -hmm. is. Let's set some parameters. We're ranking it based on its spookiness okay. and how much we like it. Okay. Because like I'm trying to think about obviously Villainous is my favorite game, but in terms of like my favorite like spooky game, mm -hmm. um, it's probably not going to win yeah, over yeah, some yeah, other things. You, you get what yeah. I mean? Yeah. See what I mean, Jellybean? Yeah. So we have 19 games that we are going to be going through. We have Arkham Horror the Card Game, Cthulhu Death May Die, Dead of Winter, Disney Villainous, Disney's The Haunted Mansion, Call of the Spirits, Ghost Blitz, Gloom, Horrified, Mansions of Madness, Mr. Jack, Mysterium, Mysterium Park, Silver, Silver Bullet, Silver Coin, Silver Dagger, Subterra, The Bloody Inn, and Zombicide Black Plague. We disagreed on Silver. I but it, the theme is... I get it. Yeah. And just for clarification, for Villainous, I've clumped them all together as one. Why'd villainous. you do that with Silver then? That's a good point. I'll just leave Silver Bullet, but we'll clump all the Silver games together yeah. as one. Okay? So that then leaves us with 16 games to rank. Are you ready? Yep. Matchup is Subterra versus Mysterium. Sure. So Subterra is a tile revealing exploration game where you are trapped in a cave mm -hmm. and you are being chased by horrors and the purpose is to escape the cave yep. with as many of your team members alive as possible. It mm -hmm. is a co-op game. Mysterium is a deduction game where somebody has been murdered and there is a person that is giving you clues based on abstract cards mm -hmm. and you have to guess who the killer was, where the murder happened, and what the weapon was. Yep, talking about Mysterium and not Clue. <laughs> exactly. Subterra versus Mysterium is probably an easy one for us. It is for me. It I, is for me. I'm worried that we're we're thinking it's easy, but we're on different ends. Okay. Okay, on three? Yeah. One, two, three, Mysterium. Subterra. Mysterium. You didn't even like Subterra when we Okay, but it. it's way creepier. Do you think? Yes! I don't no, You're stuck that. in a cave trying to get out and you don't know which way to go. You could go down a corridor that's a dead end. There's a horror chasing behind you. Mysterium this is about murder. And like literally mm. like it's kind of like a, you know, like a who done it. See, Mysterium is spooky. Yeah. In the same way that Haunted Mansion is spooky to Very me. Very spooky. It's like it's kid spooky. Ah. Subterra is like way more this is terrifying. Okay, so in terms of spookiness, I think I agree that Subterra wins, but in terms of good game, Mysterium would win. Disagree. It's because you're not good at Mysterium. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not incorrect. Okay, we need to make a decision. Subterra is good. It is creepy. Mysterium is great. Mysterium's on my top 10. Okay, here's the it deal. It was on my top 10. I don't know. If what, we needed to figure out how we... Uh, if we can't come to an agreement, then I win. <laughs> no. Just kidding. Do you want to do like rock, paper, scissors? No. So it's going to be about give and take. Okay. okay. I'll give I'll give you this one, but I want one in the future. Oh, I was going to give you this one. And I give you one in the future? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we are going with Subterra and we are locking it in. Next up, we have Ghost oh, Blitz versus Mr. Jack. 
Ghost Blitz is a dexterity game, mm -hmm. basically, where you are flipping cards that have images on it, and you have items, a book, a wine bottle, a ghost, a mouse, and a chair. And you have to either grab the one thing that is on the card, or grab the one thing that is not on Absolutely. the card. I suck at this. <laughs> Jeff's not great at this game. Yeah, Mr. Jack is a deduction game, kind of hidden movement. Yeah. One person is playing as Jack the Ripper, the other person is playing as the... Detective. Detective, essentially. The objective for Jack the Ripper is to get out of the map or off the map and escape the town and the detective's job is to find Jack the Ripper. Yeah. So there's a bunch of different people on the board and Jack the Ripper could be he has an, an accomplice of any of those people that are on the board. This one's easy for me. This but. one is also easy though. I do love Ghost Splits and I know Jeff would never choose this. It's just a very cute simple like kids game that is themed with ghosts. It's not very spooky. Mr. Jack on the other hand is kind of like it's not, I wouldn't say spooky, but it's no. kind of like a creepy theme. Jack the creepy Ripper premise. is a serial killer, yeah. that kind of thing. And it is an excellent two-player game. Yeah, I had a lot of fun so... with that. One, two, three, Mr. Mr. Jack. Jack. All right, lock it in. Pachow. Ooh, next up we have Villainous. Mm -hmm. This is a really hard one for me. And then we have Horrified. <laughs> So we have Villainous, you're playing a Disney villain and you have your own objectives and you're trying to screw the other person over to make sure you achieve your object objective before they achieve theirs. And this is Disney versus Universal, that's tough. The Universal Monsters and it's a co-op game where you are trying to defeat one, two, three Universal Monsters as a group. I love both of these games. I love the theme of both of these games. I love Disney more than Universal, but in terms of spookiness, Horrified would take it. This is this is another prime example of how I struggle between these concepts because while villainous is spooky in a kid sense, Horrified is more in line with the horror-esque things yeah. like Dracula and werewolves and yeah. the swamp thing. Like it's tough for me to separate those two. Sure. Because I think the horror-esque games are much creepier and spookier than the kiddish spooky games. Does that right. make sense? Yeah, it does. This one's easy for me. This one's hard for me, but I think I know what I'm going to go with. Ready? Okay. One, two, three, horrified. horrified. Although Disney Villainous is like my favorite game of all time, Horrified just... It's, I also this is like, a, Horrified is a game that I want to play in October. Horrified is a game I don't overly love either. I love it. It's okay. It's beautiful. Um, <laughs> so we're going to lock it in. Horrified. Horrified. Bam. Okay, so next up we have Mysterium Park versus Silver Bullet. <laughs> or the Silver Series. Jeff does not agree with me that the Silver Series should be here, but it is all about killing werewolves. There's mm -hmm. like vampires and ghouls and mummies and witches and all There's of this no stuff. There's no mummies. There, yeah, but there's all there's of those other nice. things. There's zombies. So Silver Bullet, we talked about it a jillion times, but it is a take that card game. And Mysterium Park is a smaller version of Mysterium, but it's set in a carnival. It's more like you're trying to find just who done it and where they did it, no murder weapon. So it's like a condensed version. I think Mysterium Park is a little bit creepier than Mysterium. Really? I think in general that creepy carnival like concept yeah. is creepier to me than a lot of other things. Like an abandoned carnival yes. with like the carnival music. The carnival and... music creeps me out. Yeah. Little like creepy doll. Between Mysterium Park and Silver Bullet, obviously Silver Bullet's the better game. There's no competition there. If we're going in terms of game spookiness and gameplay, where do you fall? One, two, three, Mysterium, Mysterium Park. Park. All right, Mysterium Park is locked in, but Silver Bullet's a better game. Next up, Dead of Winter versus the Bloody Inn. Bloody Inn, basic concept. You want people to come to your inn. Each person has a set of rooms that they control, and you will welcome guests into your room. Essentially, you want them to either pay you, which pays you out a little bit if they stay in your room and then leave. Not much. But... Even better, you can kill them yes. and take their money. And each person has more or less money in their pockets that you can steal. So not only do you have to kill them, you then have to bury them. <clears throat> so basically the concept is you want to kill guests to steal their money. And then Dead of Winter is a zombie game. It's basically like The Walking Dead board game. Mm -hmm. And it is a co-op game where you are trying to escape and defeat 
the zombies, but there is also a hidden traitor aspect of this game. So from the very beginning, somebody could be pegged as a traitor and you don't know. So it's one of those co-op games where you're like, you can't really trust everyone. There might not be like, there, there might, might not, not be, be it might not either. come up, yeah. come up at all. So it's kind of like one of those mm -hmm. games where you're like, Ooh, I, I like know. to always play as if I'm the hidden traitor, yeah. even if I'm not, even I love if it. He's not. Dead of Winter is zombies. Zombies are creepy as hell. The Bloody Inn is spooky in terms of like going to this like inn and it's like kind of creepy and you might get murdered and you do get murdered and you do get murdered. and all of that stuff it's mm. and it's set in like super old timeies like salem witch era yeah you know 1800s I mean? I think. 1800s yeah so jeffrey what are you thinking here late 1800s that wasn't my yeah late 1800s I'm like what are you thinking late 1800s um i think i know mm. okay i think i know ready one two three dead, dead of, of winter <gasps> I wasn't expecting you to say that, like zombies. Yeah, and you're trying to survive. You're and... trying to survive the apocalypse and yeah. Apocalypse. So, zombie apocalypse. Dead of winter, lock it in. Oh, okay. This, one's, this one's gonna be an easy one. So we have Cthulhu, death may die, and we have gloom. <laughs> Cthulhu Death May Die is a Lovecraftian themed board game and the sole purpose of this game is for you to complete an objective and mm -hmm. defeat either Cthulhu or Pastor. There's usually a ritual that you're trying to break up that will summon one of these big monsters onto the board and the sole objective then becomes to defeat that, that monster. Yeah. And Gloom is a card game where everybody has their own family. You win by having the most miserable family. Mm -hmm. It's all about self-worth points and it has clear cards that you add on top of your family members mm -hmm. that give them negative self-worth. You can give others positive self-worth. At the end of the game, all of your family has to be dead yep. and whoever is dead and has the lowest self-worth wins the game. It yep. is a hilarious theme. I love that theme. How miserable can you make this person before killing them? Yeah. So this one is easy in terms of gameplay, I think. Gloom is more my spooky speed. Like, mm -hmm. I kind of like that kind of like creepy and weird, but I know what Jeff is going to pick and I think I would agree on this one. So we are going to go one, two, three. Cthulhu, Cthulhu death, death may, may die. die. Lock it in. I mean, Cthulhu is creepy as hell. Okay, so we have Zombicide Black Plague and Arkham Horror the card game. <laughs> So Zombicide Black Plague, it's a zombie game. It's a co-op game where you are trying to escape the mm -hmm. zombies. Arkham Horror the Card Game is kind of like Cthulhu Death May Die, only it's a card game. Yep. It is Lovecraftian. You are trying to defeat different scenarios, campaigns by getting through three acts in order to win or mm -hmm. to lose and die. This one's a bit tough for me. I think I know. Hmm. I think I know. One, two, three, Arkham, Arkham Horror. Horror. We're on the same page, you and me. So we're going Arkham Horror, the card game. Once again, it's just like very eerie. That Lovecraftian theme is it's tough spooky. to be. And I mean, Zombie Side, I think where I struggle with that one is we've only played it once and it was forever ago. And Zombie Side is a bit more cartoony, I think. Sure. Oh my God. Oh no. Do we even need to talk about this one? Okay, so we have Disney's The Haunted Mansion, Call of the Spirits versus Mansions of Madness. <laughs> two mansions. Disney's The Haunted Mansion is a children's game where you are in the haunted mansion and you are trying to collect ghost cards to be the most haunted and spooky. And it's a set collection game mm -hmm. that is adorable. And if you love The Haunted Mansion, it is very you should definitely cute. play it. Yeah, it's very cute. You're being chased by the hitchhiking ghosts. Mansions of Madness is another Lovecraftian, much like Cthulhu Death May Die. Yeah. Arkham Horror, the card game, same type of story, same setting, but is app driven. It definitely is way creepier because you get the music and you get all the of this narrator. the narration. And you know, in Mansions of Madness, you're uncovering in most instances a map and you're trying to complete an objective with monsters chasing you and mythos cards and yeah. insanity. This one's hard for me because I know my love for one of these games and I know my love for one of these themes, but at the end of the day, it's really not that hard. One, two, three, Mansions, Mansions of, of Madness. Madness. Mansions of Madness is one of my favorite games, mm -hmm. like of all time. So, and I love Haunted Mansion, but it's just, it's not a game we're running to play. Next up, we have Mr. Jack versus Subterra. <laughs> 
I feel like I know. <sighs> I know where I'm at. One, two, two three, Subterra. Sub okay. Just, it's, it's creepier. We have Mr. Jack versus Mysterium. Ready? One, One two, two, three, three Mysterium. Mr. Jack. I knew you were going to say that. Mysterium is creepier. I owe you one. All right, so Mysterium wins. But don't you agree? Mysterium no. is creepier. It's about murder. So is Mr. Jack. No, but he doesn't actually murder anybody. You're just chasing him. Mysterium wins. Now we have Mysterium Park versus Horrified. This one's easy for me. One, two, three, Horrified. horrified. Mm. Mysterium Park versus Villainous. One, two, three, Mysterium Park. Okay. Villainous is the better game. Mysterium Park is a creepier game. I'll give you it. Mysterium Park it is. Silver Bullet versus Villainous. Okay. Uh, all right. One, two, three, Silver villainous. Bullet. Damn it. Why do you think Villainous is creepier than Silver Bullet? The, the, Spookier. It, I just I keep use saying those, creepier. I use them interchangeably. I understand what you're saying about Silver Bullet, that there's werewolves and vampires and stuff, mm -hmm. but I don't get any of that when I'm playing that game. None of it. Do you get that when you're playing Villainous? Yeah, because I'm I'm purposely trying to like do bad things. Do bad things and like defeat heroes and defeat you and right, okay. I will give it to you. Villainous. Cthulhu Death May Die versus Dead of Winter. <laughs> One, two, three, Cthulhu, Cthulhu death, death may, may die. die. I love zombies, but Dead of Winter versus Gloom. One, two, three, Gloom. Dead of Winter. Okay. Dead of Winter is about zombies. You gave me the last one, so. Yeah, I mean, Gloom it's. Gloom is about a creepy family. It reminds me of, like, Roll Doll a little bit. Gloom reminds me of, like, what's that poem? The Raven Nevermore. Nevermore. What's that? Po Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. It yeah. reminds me of like his poetry and yeah. stuff. I don't know. Like I find I'm zombies kind of, are scary, but like that theme. I'm kind of with you on that. Yeah. But however, the flavor text on that game doesn't make it as creepy. It's, it's kind of jokey a bit. It's, a, it's like, like satire. Jokey. Satire yeah. creep. Yeah. It's almost like the Adams Family, that kind of like yes. satire uh, yes. creep. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Gloom is very much like Adams Family. Yeah. I'm fine if you want to go with Gloom. I'm going to go that. with Gloom. All right. We have Mansions of Madness versus Arkham Horror, the card game. <laughs> Easy one for me. One, two, three. Mansions, Mansions of, of Madness. Madness. I, yeah, I'm not going to say anything. But I think that's going to end up being first. I think it is too. Because just because it's, it's got just, the app and everything. I love that. I love that game. And the cards are just, it adds too much. Too many things to do. Arkham Horror, the card game versus Haunted Mansion. Really? I'm freaking hesitating on this. Oh, one. okay. One, two, three. Arkham, Arkham Horror. Horror, the card game. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Haunted Mansion versus Zombieside Black Plague. One, two, three. Haunted Zombicide. Mansion. Why? Jamie, it's little kid spook. <laughs> It is like what? Yeah, don't are you... you ever like when you're on the haunted mansion ride? Don't you ever Never. just kind of get like a woo? No, really? No chill. None. Zero. Okay, well I didn't give you the other zombie ones. So I'll give you this. There's, one. there's like happy ghosts. I know. All right, horrified <gasps> versus subterra. Uh, okay. One, two, three. Subterra. Horrified. What? Subterra's way creepier. And subterra's way I creepier. Said creepy. Subterra is way scarier, spookier than you're giving it credit for. Think of it thematically. Being, okay, yeah, you're being chased in a dark cave by that horrors, you don't can't, you don't know where to go, and like the lights go out, and you don't know where to go. You're trying to escape before they consume and you stuff, and you die. Stuff is caving in. But horrified isn't as scary as that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with Subterra. I think you're right. I'd like to play that game again. Horrified versus Mysterium. <laughs> One, two, three, horrified. horrified. Okay, thank God. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. We've already kind of talked about this, yep. but Mysterium versus Mysterium Park. <sighs> I don't know. I know Jack's picking Mysterium Park. You don't know sh Well, you already said Mysterium Park is creepy. Maybe I changed my mind. I think you're right, though. One, two, three, Mysterium, Mysterium Park. Park. Didn't change my mind. Villainous versus Mysterium. <laughs> 
One, two, three. Mysterium. Mysterium. Villainous versus Mr. Jack. All right, I'm ready. Uno momento. Bubbly break. One, two, three. Mr. Villainous. Jack. You gave me the last one. All right, villainous it is. Ah. Silver Bullet versus Mr. Jack. <laughs> I feel like these are the same level of creep. Spook. All right. One, two, three. Mr. Mr. Jack. Jack. Silver Bullet versus Ghost Blitz. One, two, three. Silver, Silver Bullet. Bullet. Jeff hates Ghost Blitz. <laughs> I don't hate it. It was fine. Oh, okay. Boy. We here's, have, here's the big heavy this hitter. Is the, this is a tough one. We have Mansions of Madness versus Cthulhu Death May Die. One, two, three. Mansions, Mansions of, of Madness. Madness. Really? Isn't it's the it? app. It's, yeah, it's the app. You if can't... Cthulhu Death May Die had an app, Ugh, it'd be... Yeah. yeah. Arkham Horror the Card Game versus Cthulhu Death May Die. One, two, three, Cthulhu, Cthulhu Death, Death May, May Die. Die. Like, even just, like, look at the cover. Arkham Horror the Card Game versus Gloom. One, two, three, Arkham Gloom. Horror. Why, like, I think, I don't know. I think the death, it's difficult because different things are spookier to different people. You find, like, that Adam's Family, like, stuff spooky. Like, rolled I don't. Witches, like, I don't. I think... Yeah. I find horror-esque things yeah. spookier. Because I think my tolerance for spooky is maybe higher than yours. I don't yours. know if it's tolerance, more so preference. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with Arkham Horror the Card Games. Theoretically, technically, it is probably spookier. Zombieside Black Plague versus Gloom. I'm going Gloom. All right. One, two, three, Gloom. gloom. Yeah. I actually did. Ooh. I just didn't say gloom because you picked it. I do agree with you there. We've got Zombieside Black Flag versus Dead of Winter. I'm just trying to think back on both of those plays because I feel like they're very similar games. But I think I know. One, two, three, Dead, Dead of, of Winter. Winter. It's more realistic. Mm -hmm. We have Zombieside Black Flag versus The Bloody Inn. One, two, three, The, the Bloody, Bloody Inn. Inn. Great game. Subterra versus Mansions of Madness. One, two, three, Mansions, Mansions of, of Madness. Madness. Okay, good. Subterra versus Cthulhu Death May Die. You know, that's not easy for me. It's not, but I think I know what I want to pick. One, two, three, Subterra. Sub it is creepy. It is, yeah. It's stress inducing. Damn it. Cthulhu Death May Die versus Horrified. One, two, three, Cthulhu, Cthulhu Death, Death May, May Die. Die. My heart says horrified. Arkham Horror the Card Game versus Horrified. I want to say horrified, but I know that I'm not going to win that one. So one, two, three, Arkham, Arkham Horror. Horror the Card Game. It is just spookier, but like the, the Universal Monsters are like classic spook. I get it. I get it. We have Gloom versus Horrified. One, two, three, horrified. horrified. Nice. <laughs> Gloom versus Mysterium Park. One, two, three, gloom. gloom. That sounded like we were doing one, two, three, boom. One, two, three, boom. One, two, three, gloom. Dead of Winter versus Mysterium Park. Hmm. Okay. One, two, three, Dead, Dead of winter. winter. The Bloody Inn versus Mysterium Park. One, two, three, the, the Bloody, Bloody Inn. In. I think we're on the same page for a lot of these. Zombie Side the Black Flag mm. versus Mysterium Park. One, two, three. Mysterium Park. That's what I was going to say, and I don't know why. I just didn't say anything. Mysterium Park. Mysterium versus Zombie Side Black Flag. One, two, three, Mysterium. Mysterium. I didn't know that you were going to do it. I don't think Black Plague zombie side games. It's like more like a zombie fighter instead of like a survival, no, it, right? It just reminds me of like video games a bit more than mm. anything. I'd like to play it again. I would too. Villainous versus zombie side Black Plague. One, two, three, zombie Villainous. Side. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Um, you can have it if you want. Okay, Villainous. I just love Villainous. Mr. Jack versus Zombieside Black Plague. One, two, three, Mr. Zombicide. Jack. What? You're right. 
zombie side it is. The Haunted Mansion versus Mr. Jack. <laughs> One, two, three, Mr. the haunted Jack. mansion. It's creepier Jamie, than Mr. Jack. Jamie, come off of it. Did you feel at all creeped by Mr. Jack? Okay. Way more than haunted mansion. Right. You literally killed someone and are trying to get out of the town. Yeah. What's spooky about haunted mansion? It's a haunted mansion. <laughs> you did that. You actually did it. <laughs> haunted mansion versus silver bullet. One, two, three, haunted, haunted mansion. mansion. Okay, rankings are in. And I'm actually a little bit surprised. Our rankings for the most spooky games mm -hmm. that we have played. You might see ghost stories here. <laughs> yeah, so there's we still obviously spooky games that we haven't played, so. Yeah. So coming in in last place at number 16, we have Ghost Blitz. No shock. No shock. Coming in at 15, we have Silver Bullet. Again, no shock. One of the no best shock. games in the world. No shock. 14, we have Disney's The Haunted Mansion. I don't Can't know how that wasn't last. it's that low. Number 13, we have Mr. Jack. Mm -hmm. I still don't think it's that creepy, but it is, you know, a little. Number 12, we have Zombie Side the Black Plague. Yep. Number 11, we have Disney Villainous. So here's our top 10 spooky games. You ready? Number yep. 10, Mysterium. Number 9, Mysterium Park. Mm -hmm. Number 8, The Bloody Inn. I was expecting this to be higher for some reason. Yeah. Number 7, we have Dead of Winter. Number six, we have Gloom. It's too high. Number five, we have Horrified. Number four, Arkham Horror, the card game. Yep. Number three, Cthulhu, Death May Die. Number two is Subterra. And number one, Mansions of Madness, our favorite spooky game or the spookiest game. Mm -hmm. There's no other game that just, because it has that act it's with the, the app, music and the yeah. creep factor and it's the Lovecraftian Cthulhu and, and I remember things the first, are just popping up. I remember and, the first few times we played that with the music and stuff from the app, I was like literally like, this is it's creepy. pretty creepy. If you played that with like the lights off and like a candle lit or something, like yep. that would be pretty creepy level. Yeah, that'd be a cool October thing to yeah, do. Yeah, it's a cool October thing to do. Yeah. I'm not really shocked by any of these. Subterra was one we added that I I was like, I don't know where that's gonna land. That premise and that concept is yeah. creepy. The only thing on that list that I'm like, eh, is Gloom. Be I above. would swap Gloom with the Bloody Inn. So those are our spooky games and versus. Let us know down below what your favorite spooky games are because I would love to know the more that I can play, the more that we can play, the better. Yeah. We are going to be playing Ghost Stories. I always get this wrong. We're close enough. Nailed it. If you are interested in buying some spooky games, a great place to look is your friendly local gaming, gaming store. store. And for us here in Halifax, that is the... Order of Game Cafe. Exactly. That's all we have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see... <laughs> oh my God. Duh. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Later days. I thought you weren't going to say it. That would have scared everybody. R.I.P. Yeah. Um, my chair is so squeaky. The last time I bit my tongue. Deduction. Ow, I bit my tongue. Again, what? Is my tongue fatter today, do you think? <laughs> I doubt it. I keep biting it. Maybe. It could be dehydrated. Could be. I haven't had anything to drink. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, psych. <laughs> okay. I had to snap my pants. All right. Do you say boob? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was also on the fence about sheepy time, but Jeff told me that that wasn't no. spooky. <laughs>